than a lot of people I know, Will Carroll. In What's the up, everybody? House. And we finally, finally been trying to get the one and only Jason Sukoff, who's on the stream. Hello, Jason. How are you? I'm all right, Ted. I'm all right. You all right? No. I've never, call, I've never called you Ted. Oh, yeah. You always call me Tedro. Tedro or Wang? Wang. All right. But before we start, I just want to let all our viewers know that I don't even know where this conversation is going to go because we have Jason Sukoff and he could take you on a roller coaster of subjects. Or so. I could just bomb the conversation and <laughs> ruin everything. <laughs> So Jason, what's up, man? How are you? How how are you doing during these crazy times? I'm all right, you know. I'm already, I'm usually in a, a pseudo quarantine mode anyway, so it's not that different for me. But I could definitely see how if people don't hang out at home a lot, it would definitely be horrible for them. Oh, man, well you're used to it, pre-pandemic, post, but whatever. You're just in your compound. Yeah, just. Hanging, doing the thing. Yeah, yeah. I brought Will along per your request. Beast man, dude. What's up, dude? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> there he Jason, is. Jason, you, you know, a lot of fans have been asking about you. You did four of our records. Relentless Retribution, The Dream Calls for Blood, The Evil Divide, and The, Gra Divide. <laughs> the Grammy-nominated Humanicide. All four Dude, records. Killing the humans. <laughs> so let me ask you something. What made you say yes to us? Rob's hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. No, it I, because it's it's cool to work with, with someone that's A not shot, you know, B someone you could say that you've, you know, been aware of since you were 10, you know? What do you mean not shot? Shot, S-H-O-T. I know, what do you mean by that? They don't Dude. suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. This man knows. <laughs> I mean, we never met you before. It, it was, I remember me and Will flew out. Rob, Rob went earlier for Relentless to do the scratch guitars and then me and Will flew out. I remember talking to him on the plane going, Dude, we never met this dude before. We're going into this cold. We I remember me and Rob. Me and Rob talked on the phone for a long time before he, we, you know. But I always gotta. No matter who comes here, I gotta. If we're not vibing on a phone conversation, it's it's probably not going to be good. Period. The whole time. But, but that's happened awesome. before, right? You've worked with a band that you didn't really get along with, I'm sure, right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, though, dude. <laughs> but Jason, out of all, what's your favorite Death Angel record out of the four you produce? I think I think it's. Uh, Be honest. I think it's Dream, because it's all because Dream's hella techy and 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 mad. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's definitely my favorite. It's got a it's got a thing. You know, you never know that it's gonna have the thing until like couple of years after you're and they're like yeah that that one thing's got the thing you like the dream i like relentless man relentless is my favorite it's a good that's a good one they're they're all good to me but i'm just saying if you put a gun to my head and i was forced to choose an album that's the one what what would be the the, the most difficult record for you to record the four out of the four the most difficult you know i mean in terms of like um let me see. How do I put this? This is a bad question, bro. <laughs> hey, do you, is Big Shot Studio still open? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it was, dude. It's been like thirty studios since then, and I'm not sure what happened at the at like at the end. And like I heard that the drum room was was torn down, but then like I always hear that someone else is in it, but also I don't know. So I can't make any definite things. But Ted, well, as far as the out, al which album is the most, I, I would say that they're all kind of the same. Pro probably, I, I can't really remember the beginning of Relentless that much, but 
but I'm sure that it was probably that one because I was getting to, you know, learning, you yeah. know, yeah, getting getting to know stuff like like these man's ride. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to bring that up. I was going to bring that up. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? He had a ride symbol, but he didn't use it as a ride. He used his <laughs> other symbol as a ride. I kind of rude, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I you know what I'm saying? And for people who don't know what we're talking about, Big Shot Studios was where I recorded my drum tracks for Relentless Retribution. Was that the only album you, you did drum tracks at that studio, Jason? No, I, I did a bunch of stuff there. I did August Burns Red there in, in 2009 for Constellations. And I did a JFAC EP there. And I did... I know I've done something. Oh, yeah, we did All That Remains Overcome drums there. Um, I might have done something else there. And I, if I can't remember it, I'm shot. But I'm what shot. Was up, what was up with the owner of that place, man? Like, he he, he loved to stand in doorways and, and block the <laughs> back out. Like, every time I had to go from one room to the next, I had to say, excuse me, or pardon me to this guy. Like, dude, can't you stand somewhere else? Like, all the time, he's in the doorway. You That's that what guy? I'm going to do. If I ever walk again, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to break in your house and stand <laughs> in all of your doorways. <laughs> it sounds fun and agitating to the other person. <laughs> the Cole Seinfeld thing. <laughs> it, it is. That's what I've been. That's what's been on, by the way. It's and I have it on Hulu. It's got the random, so it'll like choose random episodes. It's sick. From, from different seasons, yeah, like different times. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, it'll skip. It'll keep skipping ahead until your app fails and then you got to restart it, but it, but it never, I don't think it does the same thing twice. It's a good deal. That's cool. Who's your favorite secondary character? Not, not counting, you know, Elaine, George uh, Kramer. Who's like the, your odd character. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> He's so many places. <laughs> he is, he is in the background quite a bit. You're right. <laughs> he was making, he was making the, uh, the chicken that Elaine sneezed in. Oh, really? Yeah, he was there. I just noticed him in that thing. I'm pretty sure he's like the chef. He's also, oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. He's also, yeah, he's also in the background on a Kramer's reality tour bus. He's yeah. one of the guys that asks for another Snickers or something. Can I have another Snickers? Yeah. Yeah, he's. And I feel like he was in the store with the security guard that George brought the chair for. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like the Where's Waldo of Seinfeld. All you viewers out there, I'm, I'm sure a lot of viewers are Seinfeld fans. These guys could go crazy over Seinfeld. I stumped Will on one Seinfeld question one time on tour. Yeah, yeah it was, was really easy, it was an easy one too. It was uh, what's Jerry's apartment number? Oh, uh, I don't know that. <laughs> it's one A, I think, or five A, five A. But uh, I remember when, when we recorded uh, "Dream Calls for Blood." I I bought a Seinfeld trivia board game. Remember, we were at like a Walmart or some shit, and I I brought it back. Yeah, <laughs> and we ended up just reading the questions to each other, not even playing the game. Right, because it's more fun to do that. Then they yeah. they had that quiz up. I think they. I don't know. I I heard quiz up might be out of here, but maybe it's not. I don't know. But uh, they have the Seinfeld trivia stuff. I yeah. feel like we played we played on that before. I believe definitely, definitely. Are we shot? <laughs> so Jason, I'm gonna go yeah. back. I'm gonna go back here. We can go back to Seinfeld, but I'm gonna you know break it up a little bit. All right. How, how did you? How did you name Beastman Beastman? Uh, <laughs> I you know it must it had to be the first instance of uh recording him you know <laughs> he's got you know what if i can't remember why i can make a reason why that's that's true because remember on uh i want to say it's on the remember you you broke the floor tom head even before we got out of the uh that part yeah i remember that's ridiculous that's that's all. That's all you really need to know. If you're breaking a floor, Tom Head, before you even get to the part. <laughs> that's I'll it. take it. I'll take it. 
<laughs> there's lots just... of reasons. There's lots of reasons why he's beast man. He's just a look at him. <laughs> he's beast man, dude. <laughs> Hey, didn't, didn't who gave J- Will? You gave Jason the figure of Beastman, right? Didn't you? No, I was going to, but I decided to keep it. I still have it. Yeah, uh, you don't want to. You don't want to give that to me, dude. That'll be worth way more than if you gave it to me. <laughs> you, you were you into Masters of the Universe? Did you collect He Man figures? No, I I didn't, but I I probably watched a little bit of the cartoon and definitely watched the movie a lot. Yeah, 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 the movie. Little Dolph action. <laughs> totally. Jason. There was a, there was a contest. On, on the Masters of the Universe, there was a contest. From what I understand, there was a contest where uh, a fan, like, won a chance to be in the scene. And then it's, like, reshoot the whole ending of that movie just so that the winner could be in the scene for, like, two seconds. Wow. Sick. Yeah. Wow. You should look that up and find out. Ron knows the exact facts, but that's the short, uninformed version for you. <laughs> I was throwing around a lot of uh, unnecessary money just to get a fucking fan on, on, on the last scene. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Well, he, he, won a, he won a contest. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it happens. So, Jason, yes. are, uh, are we the only band that uh, gave you a Grammy nom? Yes. Now, how did you feel when you heard about it? I was like, for, I was like, is this really real? Well, this is super <laughs> sick. I was like, yeah, I, I feel like getting the, the nomination, obviously winning, winning is cooler, but just having a nomination, I, I feel is pretty sick. Yeah, man. We were stoked on it. And I mean, we, we found I'm out. Stoked, the- stoked, for all, stoked for all you guys. And I think it's, it's something hopefully that, can be achieved more than once in a lifetime but I, i'm i'm happy with once yeah i mean you had a big part to do with it humanicide came out killer the production and everything i mean you with all the records we've done with you you pushed us to the fullest it's pretty it, it's pretty good it's because like of it. beast man <laughs> <laughs> it all starts with beast man and then it's built up from there beast man is the foundation where where are you doing drum tracks now? Do you still have the the barn down the road, or, or where are you doing? No, where where we where we did them last time? At the, oh, the, duh! That's right, that's right. I completely damn forgot. beast man. I forgot, I forgot. That's right. Steve, uh, Steve from DSI was there one time. I went over there. That's right. I remember. Man, yeah, I missed yeah, yeah. Steve in a, in a second. No one's seen anyone in a second. It sucks. Are you working with DSI again? I would I would imagine so, but uh, you know, I don't know what's going on i haven't talked to them so i can't say for sure you know what i'm saying it would be wrong of me to say this is definitely happening because then i could be lying and be a dick it's always good to make sure 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 what's your uh of the first three dsi albums what's your favorite probably legion Legion. Legion. i figured (laughs) you know know, a lot of people are like man the production on that is shit and it's like yeah but like it's really not if you listen it is and it's not it's like I don't even th- like it's got a certain vibe to it that's just it's fucking crazy. Like if you if you zone out to it, I I, I agree that the uh, guitar tones are a little uh, objectionable. They're kind of, they're kind I of feel like if you it. hear them if you hear them alone for that second, like when it's like <laughs> you know when it stops for a second, it's like. But that's pretty much a lot of stuff. If you like, you press solo and you're into something, and where it's like, let's solo out. The fucking anything. It's like, well, right. that's not sick. Or maybe it is sick, dude. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, Legion. I mean, I, I can definitely see why it's your favorite. It's, I mean, it's the most technical of the three, and it's just frantic, man. It's fucking frantic. It's not my favorite. Uh, I would go with the first album, but uh, actually, I, I like Once Upon the Cross better than Legion too. But uh, I know uh, a lot I of people that that's their favorite album is Once Upon the Cross, and like, I like. I like what's upon the cross, and I like a lot of stuff from the first album too. It's just I'm the guy. I'm the guy who's like, yeah, yeah. Like heart work is okay, but like necroticism is better to me. Oh, way better. I, I really don't even understand how it's an argument. I, I like, I'm with you 100. <laughs> percent I heard heart work. I was kind of disappointed just because it was just so uh, so straightforward. I guess you know, or kind of commercial almost. If, if, it's if, not if, the, the production was great. It's really more necroticism had such amazing songs that literally it's like you had to listen to all of them in order 
and it was like a thing. Yeah. And, and I don't know, but hard work was good. But but to me, like, there's only like four songs or five songs I can really remember with the sick, sick riffs. I agree. And the, the, the guitar tone is crushing on that album, though. But uh, yeah, I, the whole album is crushing, crushing. It's I, yeah. I'm just talking from a song standpoint. Yeah, yeah, I'm totally there. It's they're, they're not as epic. Like uh, the crossism has more of an epic feel. The songs are longer, hella more parts. Totally, totally. It's, it's very morgish feeling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's got hey, that hey, hey. Speaking of old death metal, uh, uh, what's up with the, uh, your old band, uh, Kafarnum? Are you guys ever going to do anything ever again? Record ever again? You know what? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe I'll write some riffs and we'll, we'll put out one of those things with with the songs on them. <laughs> <laughs> what well, the hell is a like Kafarnum? I, uh, uh, you know, apparently it's like a place where everything's always confused and disoriented and a mess but i don't know and then there's like a biblical meaning i spent a lot of time in high school trying to find the definition in the correct dictionary that you can only find in one place do you remember that i, could, yeah. I couldn't find the definition anywhere I, I looked all day yesterday i spent my entire I, day <laughs> the whole day I, it wasn't on the <laughs> internet it wasn't anywhere jason it, yeah look, i know you guys speaking death metal who's your favorite death metal band my uh, I don't have a favorite, but I, I guess you could say that that death was. There's more like a top five, but death. death was, you know, Chuck was a big influence to me. It's basically, death, human, and death, and like individual thought patterns and human. Those two albums for me are pretty important, and especially, uh, especially human. Yeah, human's pretty much the sickest album ever. And yeah, then, uh, I it, love it. even with I don't I can't get into the remix and it's and I I wish I could have like the louder bass but with the old mix doesn't matter. Um, I, I've never heard I never heard the remix version of Human. I only have the, the original. I have a I have a tape that that's just it was just drums and bass and it was so sick and I'm fucking worthless and I can't find it. So there's uh. that. <laughs> I don't have a nice thing of records behind me anywhere. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, going back to Kafarnum real quick. You guys played the Milwaukee Metal Fest, right? No, we were supposed oh, to play. That. No, we were going to play the Maryland Death Fest. And, uh, and, I told, and I literally, like the day before, called them and told them that I couldn't. And I, I feel like a complete dick. But I really, I was recording the God. I was doing Constitution of Treason. And, and I was just, it would have been like if I took off, like right in the middle of doing guitars with you guys, it would have, mm. it would have just been fucked for everyone. And I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to not play. I didn't plan to, it was just too much, too much shit. Right. Yeah. So it just, I just didn't want to drive to Maryland in the middle of it and cause them, to, it, it just wasn't good. I suck. That's all there is to it. All right. <laughs> I'm a sh fucking shit bag. Are you still are you still doing charred walls of the dam? Yeah, if, if Richard, uh, you know, Richard writes everything and then like he sends it to me and then we like work on it and then track it. Um, he's got like two kids now, so like he's busiest guy ever, I imagine. So, you know, I'm sure whenever we get to it, we will, but I don't know when. So, who's your next band that you got in Audio Hammer coming up? Necro Grobla Clod. Oh yeah, your favorite band. I can, tell by, I can tell by the shirt you're wearing. Dude, they, they gave me a good wardrobe, okay? And I love fucking you know everything they gave me. So it's sick. Necro Grobla Clod, dude. Hey, you know, I was looking at some old footage of you doing the Roadrunner United record. Uh -huh. And I, I was, I, my favorite footage is when you were recording Mike Smith, who used to be in Suffocation. How was that, dude? How was recording him? It was awesome. It was like, you know, getting to record someone who I listen Recording anyone you listen to growing up is always the sickest thing ever. Where does he put his right symbol? 
He's lefty. He played. He play, we played the same. <laughs> Where's his I legs? don't know, dude. But I, you should. You that 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 was like a trick ride symbol you put on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't even tell me. It was always like, how come I can never hear this dude's ride? Because <laughs> I'm not watching him. That's why I can't see over the console. <laughs> is it, what what death metal band would you like or just what, what band in general would you love to record what metal band yeah that you haven't recorded i would yeah. i'd like to record i think it'd be fun to record carcass <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah but, but uh i'm pretty sure they're they're like sneep colin band yeah that's that's... The way. also that's probably easier for them since they're over there right and also, about, why would it come to me, dude? I'm, I'm fucking shot, bro. <laughs> you wouldn't mind recording. I'm sure you'd love to record Megadeth, right? Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, dude, that'd be sick. That'd be another one, because Rust in Peace is the greatest album ever. Speaking of, right Megadeth, behind you, speaking of Megadeth, I heard a rumor about you, Jason, regarding Megadeth. <laughs> I, all right. I heard Dave Mustaine showed you how to play a Megadeth song. I mean, I met them when I was twelve, and I played him a riff, and he showed me that it was, he 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 confirmed it was it was correct. <laughs> so <laughs> that I feel like that story could be, you know, it was, they could take that the wrong way. <laughs> and and did, did you like uh, pull some some odd strings to meet Megadeth? Like, did you lie about something? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Metallica. Oh, Metallica. Okay. <laughs> Tell us that story, Jason. I didn't do anything, dude. It was my parents. Well, I, we'd love to hear that story, if you don't mind I'm telling sure you me. you would, dude. I don't remember it. I was too young to remember anything, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, I, I also heard another rumor about you, too. You have a brother, Jordan, who's a baddest fuck drummer. He is. But does he still play drums? He does. He actually did. He just played like a, a live YouTube thing. Um, I'm shocked because I can't remember for what. I'm super shot and I'm, I'll get shit for it later. But he mainly works on like he produces beats and for uh, he does like a lot of let's say R&B stuff. You know, he works with this guy named Charisma now. I know he just put that out the other night. And uh, yeah, go check them out. Fun with Skimmy on Instagram. Fun with Skimmy. Okay, I'll, 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 yeah, check, them out. I'll check them out. And um, the rumor I heard about you and your brother, um, you guys used to play together, play in a band. Yeah, dude. And you used to pay him in candy for him to come out and jam with you. No. 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 <laughs> Skittles, I heard. No. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Why I would I to... pay someone in candy, dude? He doesn't this was, candy. This was what I heard when you were young. He, he was told drummer, you... he was a drummer in Capernaum, right? Oh, he's yeah. yeah. Dude, what dude, Beast Man knows what's up, dude. What's going on, Wang? Wang. <laughs> Speaking uh, of, you call me Wang, you call Beast Man Beast Man. Do you have nicknames for the other guys in DA? No. Well, yeah. You... Well, Rob's Rob's Rob and, and Damien's da Storms. I call him Storms sometimes. Damien Storms. But that's only because I, I knew another guy named Damien Storms. I, I, don't, I don't, it just happens like that, you know? <laughs> Jason. I'm, like, I'm just a shot guy, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Dude, so let me ask you would you record us again? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah, that's dude. I'd love to record with you again, but I guess with this pandemic thing, it's uh, we we don't even know what's going on. Who does? Yeah, it's ruined but. everything. Have you been recording bands throughout the whole past year throughout the pandemic? I've done a couple of mixes, and uh, the dudes from Necro have flown out, and I did. We started the JFAC album, um, but the problem is, is we can't get Tony out here right now because he's in Ireland, so that's kind of a big pain, and he's in school. For becoming a doctor so that's you know he's super busy on that whenever he's he's just in like 100 percent. so it's kind of hard for him to be writing stuff you know 
Right, right. Dude, Jay, how did you get into the whole recording deal? Um, well, there was this guy, and he uh, he said that uh, if I didn't record, that he would climb on top of me and be this guy. Hi, Mark. Hey. <laughs> What's up, Mark? How you guys doing? Good. How are you Good? doing? Fucking awesome. He threw uh, my story off. I saw him walk in and I was like, oh, it's mesmerized. I was mesmerized. Look at this guy. Hey, your hair looks good. Thank you, man. I'm growing it out. Like Jason. <laughs> yeah, like Jason. <laughs> Dude, I'm doing this thing. Look at, look at Jay's hair. It's awesome. Dude, I'm doing this. I'm only growing it where it's balding. It's like a bird's nest. <laughs> and in the back, it's a mo, it's a it's like a no-hawk. It's sick. Yeah, dude. All right. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> All right. What are you guys recording secret vocals? Nope. He's just over there with my sister. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. it's great, dude. It's great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Look at this guy, man. Good to see you, Mark. Made a special sure, appearance. Made surprise, special surprise. Appearance. Hell yeah. Well, I hope to see you soon. You'll see me next week. That's right. That's right. It's good to have Jason on. I've been trying to lock in this guy for a while, but he's busy kicking ass everywhere. Well, <laughs> vir virtually, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys. Look at that. Eh. Damn, everyone on the on the, everyone on the web says hello, Mark. What's that? Everyone on the web says hello. Oh, hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey Mark, should we record with Jason again? What's that? Should we record with your bro again? I don't know, that depends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it all depends. He might get that Megadeth or Carcass gig. I, yeah, I yeah. won't. You never know, bro. You never know. You never know, dude. I might open up a, a fucking, I don't know, a Q tip factory. I love Q tips now. Here, where are they? I got some right here, bro. He does. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Jason. Crazy question. The recording. You, you want to know about the recording? I know that's what that's what I was trying to answer, and then I no, I, no, no. Seinfeld, why? Seinfeld, or SVU. Both. No, you got to pick one. No, I can't do that. Come on, dude. I feel like I'd have to take Seinfeld because eventually I would just get bummed out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, remember, I, remember when we were watching SVU or, or Seinfeld and we saw the episode with the chick from SVU on Seinfeld? Remember yeah, that? yeah. She, she, she's the one that's like a ball convention out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That blew your fucking mind, man. You were like, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mariska, bro. Marissa, yeah, yeah. I mean, Mariska. Mariska. Yeah, she, yeah. Got that, she got that Eastern Bloc thing going on. I don't know what yeah. that thing is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you look good behind Jason, Mark. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't leave. <laughs> Bringing it home <laughs> to the fans. How's the weather out in Florida? Perfect. Yeah. Have you seen Today, it? Today's nice. Today's nice. That's all it's, right. It's, it's nice. weird. It's nice over here in the bay. So that's should, I move, should I move over there, dude? You no, like I don't want to do that. You don't. You wouldn't no, like you it here, Jason. Lots of hills, huh? Yeah, right. Lots of hills. <laughs> you couldn't have this much land, and you'd probably get fucking human feces all over the wheels of your chair. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love human feces, dude. <laughs> fucking oh, Jason Sukoff, dude. That's Crazy. who I am. <laughs> Okay, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question. What's your favorite Death Angel song? Uh, I only know fake names, but I think it is. I think it's Filch. What, whatever Filch was. Do the riff. He oh, has another that, name. Uh, he knows the riff. Uh, Dream calls for blood. That was one of the. That was one of the fake names for. I can't remember what song it is. Though. Which one is? Left for Dead. The first song. Yeah, Left for Dead. Yeah. Was that Filch? 
I think it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob would know for sure. Yeah, he likes Left for Dead. He, yeah, and he likes Absence of Light. Is <laughs> it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't don't ask me about song names, dude, because you guys like put that in literally when we're done, and I'm like, my brain's exploding. We we're just we just finished vocals or mixing. No, I, I it's like literally when I'm done mixing, that's when the song titles become a thing or something. Usually, right? I feel, like. or maybe I'm wrong, dude. You're wrong, dude. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Jason doesn't care about words. Here we go, bro. I don't, <laughs> but also I do. I'm gonna I'm gonna change because by saying I don't would be a lie. I I care that I'm not distracted by them, <laughs> or or emotionally affected by them. Well, you get emotionally affected. <laughs> I don't care. That's not my business. <laughs> I don't remember the last song that brought a tear to Jason's eye. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I think but, it was uh, I think it was lost, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that one. I know what song that is too. That was the one with the take that. That was the take that was good. Yeah, that was the one you liked when I, I did it. <laughs> Why is that funny? You like cuz. <laughs> I still have you as it's my you, outgoing it's, message. It's, it's you liking me something I did, that's right. If, if you anyone out there happens to know Jason's personal home number, which we're not giving out, um, if you call him and he doesn't pick up for you, which he won't, the outgoing <laughs> message is me. Yeah. Yeah. J Jason never Frame. picks up. I don't know what you're talking about. You've never called me. <laughs> no. Well, and yeah, I never called you, but you always FaceTime. You love FaceTime. I do. I don't like, I mean, what is this, 1993? <laughs> yeah, but sometimes I don't want to FaceTime, but I pick it up for you. I know. Yeah. And that's why I like you. I don't ever pick up for Jason. <laughs> 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 Only text messages. He barely answers those, dude. He's pretty good the last couple of months, but I would say overall this guy is not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be on a special list for him to be like, yo, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there one day. Yeah. I'll get there one day. Oh, any bears? Any bears up. lately? <laughs> what? You got any bear problems lately? Uh, nah. I just, you know, we've seen them probably last year. I'm sure they'll be back soon. A lot of deer. A lot, a lot of brave deer in my yard lately. Oh, yeah. You had the bear, which was named Frank, I remember. I hope that was his name, because that's what I called him. Yeah, and you had that duck named Craig. Craig. Craig was awesome. Craig was awesome. I miss Craig. I, too, miss Craig. I mentioned Craig the other day when I was here. Yeah. <laughs> Blew off into infinity, hopefully. Yeah. He was a Muskogee duck. Look at you, Jason. Look yeah. at me. So it this morning, right. on yes. uh, my morning walk, our morning walk, if you will, we saw a uh, Florida soft shell turtle, which people always think are snapping turtles. They're not snapping turtles. They're soft shell turtles, but they will fucking bite you. So don't pick <laughs> them up. Oh, you saw it on your walk, Mark, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah, you see I, a lot of critters in the morning on your walk. Yeah. Oh, well, you got a critter right there. <laughs> I am the critter. <laughs> I'm talking about the guy in front of you. I am yeah. the morning walk. This is a fucking beast. He's a bear. I am, dude. It's part of the bear scene. I, I am, dude. Here we are, bearing it down Yeah. together. Jason, are we the only thrash band you produce? Uh, Necro Goblicon's kind of borderline. They're not. Us. No, they're not. I mean, no. Come on. No, they're like they're like they're like uh, theme music. I would thrash. say I'm not gonna say Battle Cross is thrash, but they're kind of thrashy if there wasn't death metal vocals. A lot of their riffs, I remember during pre-pros, like this is very. It seemed like, I mean. I more I just like injustice for all the master puppetsy riffs, but I mean, who's to say what thrashy really is? Gary Holt, fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Godfather of thrash, Gary Holt, one of the Godfathers. Yeah. Right, Jace? Would you agree? I agree. I, I agree. 
And okay, let you mentioned earlier, Rust in Peace is your favorite Megadeth album, right? Yep, absolutely. What is it you like about that record? Uh, that I don't think about how long or short the songs are. I just love the whole album. It's just everything is great about the album, all the solos. For what for, for like whatever reason, Poison was the cure is like my least favorite song, but it's got a sick solo that makes up for it. But probably because I'm not like into it's kind of like a punky song, I guess you could say. Wouldn't you say? Sort of song on the album. And it's kind of like, yeah, it's the closest thing to punk, I guess, on Rust in Peace for sure. And I'm, I'm a pretty picky metal listener. I'm kind of um I suck, dude. I even when I, you know was like listening to a ton of shit. I was only listening to like three or four things and had just hated on everything. So it's, I don't know. I think it's, it's there important. Any, uh, I've, never there listened to an, I've never listened to an entire song from beginning to end with Jason. I've never, <laughs> seen, you listen, I've never seen you listen to an entire song. I don't think that's true. Well, unless you're mixing. <laughs> I don't listen to entire songs then. So yeah, good point. You got, uh, but, Lately, I've been listening to entire Cassiopeia songs many, many times through. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> it's not, dude. They're great. Yeah. Whatever. I've seen the videos. Well, then you know. Brilliant. Will, you, would, would Rust in Peace be your favorite Megadeth album? No, nah, Peace Cells is my favorite. How can that be your favorite Megadeth album? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like Gar Samuelson's drumming more than uh, Nick Benza. I mean, nothing against. I mean, that's Nick, fine as a drummer. I, I agree. Guess. Well, but I still don't. I don't know about that. I don't know. If, also, I never really paid attention. I, I don't know. I didn't really like the dude. Rust in peace. Come on, mine's. <laughs> I like the debut the best. What 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 about P cells? Don't you like though? I mean, uh, it's a fucking great album. It's got some pretty cool songs, but compared to Rust in Peace, it's just not. Uh, it's kind of like the. It's not as angry as as Rust in Peace to me. It's not as anxiety sounding, and I think it's wackier. That's for sure, man. It's got some crazy riffs on there and some bizarre solos too. It, and I think it has stuff. every. I feel like at that you were exposed to it earlier than I was, so therefore, hearing it earlier was crazier. And by the time you got to Rust in Peace, you were already at the level where you were like, hey, what are you going to do to impress me now? I mean, I was impressed when it came out because I don't like So Far So Good So What at all. I think that album's kind of lame. Oh, I forgot that came in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For some a, reason. Jeff Young. Weird. Yeah. Every, every one of those songs had some, every, like one of those albums had six songs on it, though. I just like, as far as, you know, Rust in Peace, though, is just the best. Countdown was okay too. It, it, it blew. Uh, it, 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 it blew me away when Rust in Peace came out. It shocked the shit out of me because so far so good. So what was such a letdown of an album? So it definitely definitely blew me away when I saw the Holy War video uh, when it debuted on Headbangers Ball. I was like, God damn! So it's just a great album. Definitely a great album, but I like Peace Cells more. <laughs> Fair, fair enough. I get what you're saying about Countdown, but like, it's still good. Compa that's the last album I bought that I that I that I, you know, could get into. And that, that that's, was, yeah, that's, that's the last Megadeth album I I, I, I I dropped off after that album for a long time. I like the newer stuff now, but uh, that was a letdown of an album. It's just everything was mid tempo. There was no thrash hardly at all on Countdown to Extinction. It was all. Right? Yeah, but there was, like, there was six solos. Yeah, yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> not enough when you're a drummer. Yeah. I'm nostalgically, I go back to the first one, man, debut record. But I mean, it could be nostalgic, but I, I, I'm I, skull beneath the skin, man. That's my that's my uh, jam right look, there. Look who's here. Great song. Oh, oh it's a tip. Oh, your dog, Tippy. Yeah, it's Tippy. She's Tippy. <laughs> Tippy's mad because I'm in her spot. Look at that. Look at that nice Rottweiler, Jason. Oh, who's that? Hi, Hey, did He's you awesome. record a, did you record that band Tyrant Trooper? Did you tell me that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called? 
Tide Irish Trooper. Trooper. They were they were like a they were big in the, the local scene, Connecticut. Yeah, and homeboy, yeah. Like, and then home homeboy uh, Rick from it went into I think a, a thousand demons or ten thousand demons. I know I'm I, I'm fucking horrible right now. I can't remember anything, but. Uh, I remember, I remember that band because uh, when I did the Machine Head tour, well, I mean, it's kind of like when I do tours with Death Angel now, I everyone was giving me their demos. By the end of the tour, I had a stack of CDs, and one of them was Tyrant Trooper. I was like, well, that's a pretty, that's a pretty badass name. I mean, I, I guess. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think, I don't, not. <laughs> I don't think they released what I did with them. Uh, I, I, I can't remember, but it was in 98 that I did it. Okay, this is '95, and uh, yeah, the that's had, a great, it had a great cover too. I can't remember what, much about the music. It was, was it like a mask? Was it like a ma- was it like a gas mask? Maybe like a dude with a with an axe, and it was a whole battle scene going on, and uh, he may have had a gas mask on. Uh, I can't remember much about the music. They're like technical death metal, kind of, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, they were kind of, they were. Let's just say they're death metal. They're, but okay. I, I, Whoa. I, <laughs> but their singer John John used to come out in a like in a clown suit and it was sick. But oh. now that I think of it was way before the you know I, I guess there's lots of people that did the clown thing. I huh? just no one knew about it because the, the internet. <laughs> Why a clown? John Wayne Gacy. Oh, I, I guess yeah, whatever. So that was one of the first things you you ever did then, right? Or no, I no? I did. Uh, I did this band called Red Tide in uh, 90, I want to say 94, 95. And they were like my good friends. And the drummer of That's It and uh, Kill Switch. It's oh, okay. Uh, we're all buddies up. I knew pretty much all the, the Shadows Falls guys. And I knew Brian. Well, he was an overcast. I, I always think of him as all the as, Shadows Fall guys. Were yeah. Guys. Matt Backhand. Where's Matt? Hi, Matt. Right, that was fun. What? Yeah. <laughs> so you're originally from Connecticut, right? Yeah, I was actually ba- born in Baltimore. So take that. When did you move to Florida, and why did you move to Florida? <laughs> Ninety-eight. Uh, I wanted to go to Full Sail, and then What's I dropped out. Yeah, I but I dropped out, and then just opened the studio here. And you've been and there like, since. And I've been here since. But I've been recording since like 94 in my basement in Connecticut. And then I pretty much fucked around with learning about recording myself like from 88 to 94. Granted, I was eight years old. So what could I have actually been doing? <laughs> who was your who was your first big band that you recorded? The one that kind of kind of broke through and gave you your name? Uh, Trivium, probably, I would say. OK, OK. For like, for me, like one of the first bands that I recorded though that like I was super stoked about was Monstrosity, because I was just a huge fan of Monstrosity, mm. even before moving. You know, since I was a kid, mm-hmm. so doing them for me was like super, super sick. Like, and they to me they like Imperial Doom was hella sick. I love that album, man. <laughs> right? Holy dude, that's uh, that's one of that's that's one of those you could tell if someone was. Like, you know, sick if they listen to that album. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The corpse yeah. Rock sounds amazing on that record, man. Like Yeah, uh, dude. That whole album's pretty cool. And the bass sounds the bass guitar sounds weird and crazy. <laughs> so the you did two albums from Monstrosity, right? Or just one? I, I did one and then I tracked drums for another one and I think Mark mixed it. Right. I right. did a, and then I tracked drums for Terrorizer and Dude, that, that. album sounds Great man, the drums sound fantastic. It t- that's the last album, right? Caustic. Yeah. Caustic yeah, yeah, it was me, me, and my, me and my engineer John did it. How and, was that? Uh, Pete Sandoval. It was. It was interesting. Good times. He he added <laughs> an extra. He added an extra China in the middle of recording. <laughs> oh, you told me that. That's right. <laughs> I didn't know. I went out there. I was like, ah. I freak out, dude. I freak. You remember when you were you get when you like finish a song, you're like, the hi hat was moving all around the whole song. It was like going like that. It was like, why didn't you just 
stop and tell me. No one tells me anything. <laughs> I have to find out like while I'm mixing and something sounds weird and I can't have to make up lies. <laughs> So you started hearing an extra China and you were like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> no, I, I just went out there like in between sessions or something. And I saw he was, he was like putting another China up. It, it, I was like, oh, shit. He's like, don't worry. I was like, okay. Don't worry. Yeah, it was cool. Fuck, I, I got to hear that album. Man. He could still blast like crazy. I mean, oh, dude. For real, like, dude. He, it's great. He def man. He's definitely blast. He's like the blaster. When you when you tracked Monstrosity, who was left from the original lineup for that that recording? Hmm. Was there probably a probably just Lee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But Lee's always been like the main main dude. It was Lee, this dude named Tony, uh, and then the singer of this band that used to be in a band called Eulogy. I remember Eulogy. <laughs> yeah. Will remembers band. all the metal bands from back yeah. in the day. And I remember you. I, I only know Eulogy because I know that their bassist used to work at Aces Records. And when my dad, I like flew down here in '93 with my dad or something, and I actually got like a Cynic demo because he took me to Morris Sound because I was like a Morris Sound freak. Morris Sound was like my favorite were. studio. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted I may, I wanted to come to Florida because of Morris Sound. That was like the thing, you know. And it's still, you know, they they pretty much made it possible. They made it palatable to listen to metal. You know what I'm saying? Are they? They're still around, right? They're still. Yeah, they opened up a. They opened up a new room. I haven't been there yet, but I need to go at some point. Hey, Tom, a... Tom Morris is still working there, or, or... yeah, Tom and Jim. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Cool, man. What's your favorite yeah. record? What's your favorite record that came out of Morris Town? Oh man, one of. I've already said that that's my favorite album. So let's just yeah. say Pierce from Pierce from Within and Suffocation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. this guy happy. Look at him, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm still so wondering why there isn't like 15 bands called Eulogy. <laughs> <laughs> but Jason and I have talked about Pearson Within many, many times, man. We we both have a, a mutual love for that album, man. Every riff, every beat. There's not a, a shitty part on that album whatsoever. Everything nope. cool. That's just a fucking mean album. Yeah. Uh, that, it's just a middle finger album the whole time. And also, like, the, the, the drums are produced really well. Like, I think they sound great, and they sound There's, very different than other... Uh, I think uh, it's it's one of Scott's best... Because Scott Burns did it. Yeah, right. I, I think it's one of... he. There's a couple of snares I really love from him. This band, Resurrection. That, I remember Resurrection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I will swing to your mother in just for my, <laughs> the, 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 the storyteller at the beginning of, of every song. But the uh, Alex Marquez, his, like all of his, especially on like the malevolent creation, I think oh, he played on, on Retribution. Retribution. Like, and, and the disincarnate, uh, specifically the demos on the Roadrunners the, at Death Store 2 compilation. The yeah. drums on that sounded so sick. Yeah, that was uh, that was for a uh, 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 Euroboric forms, maybe or yeah, yeah, but no, but uh, no, for for uh, for, what the hell, the the, like, the song on at death door two was either Euroboric forms or uh, veil of Maya. Yeah, but that's yeah, but that's for cynic. Yeah, oh cynic. Okay, yeah, right, right, right. I thought I thought no, you said cynic. No, no, the, the James Murphy's project. Uh, oh, disincarnate. I, right, right, right. Yeah, right. disincarnate. I, my brain yeah. is is falling off of a, a thing but yeah that the not not the out al the album was cool but for whatever reason the the fucking demo sounded amazing mm. especially the, the snare drums were it was sick totally i love that album i'm surprised there's not 13 bands called resurrection <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's pierced from within without mike smith right right Right, there was the drummer that played on that only toured with them for a short amount of time, I believe, like a very short amount of time. I think his name was Doug. Am I crazy? Uh, no, that Doug Cerrito. I mean, it, that's the other guitarist. It, it may have been Doug. I can't. But he he was playing with them on that tour when they played the Bay Area. He was uh he was still ninety eight, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, ninety five or six. Like hmm. Pierce Within came out in '95, I think, right? Right. Yeah. When did When did Despise the Sun come out? 
That came out in 97 or 98. And that was with Dave Colross on drums. Dude, Dave Colross is sick. Have you ever tracked him? No. I just remember he was sick live every time I saw him. Holy man. Like he, he didn't he didn't need triggers. He he hits the snare drum and does blast beats so loud, man. Like he's a powerful hitter. So he like a lot of times when you see death metal bands, especially back then, when, when they go into a blast beat, the drums would completely just drop out. And all you hear was like a ride cymbal or a hi-hat and maybe kick drum, but you wouldn't be able to hear the snare. But what Dave Colrus would do it, it cut through totally. Yeah, he, he's he's a sick guy for sure. I mean, but back like in the 90s when you'd see death metal, like I'm sure you went to a show where the where the, the band would go into where the drummer would go into a blast beat, you just couldn't hear the drums anymore, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And a lot of clubs too, like the only thing you would hear mic'd up is the kick drum. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> it, would just be, cool. it would just be like typewriter over everything. Yeah. <laughs> the D four. D four world. Oh, did you have a D4. D4. Yeah, did you have a D4? No, no. You don't need a D4, you're Beast Man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't use triggers in our band, bro. Look, dude, I've never used a trigger in my life. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jason's fucking whacked out. Hey, Jason, let me ask you what I normally ask my guests. I have the dirty dozen. I'm going to ask you 12 questions. All right. Is it good? You good? I'm dude. I'm ready. Mild or, spi mild or spicy? Spicy. Yeah. Yeah. Have you gone too far with spicy? Um, maybe. Okay. But um, it's my own fault. Well, this is, I already know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Dogs or cats? Dogs? Yeah. Cats are all right, though, but dogs are sick. Dogs are sick. Dogs are right. sick. <laughs> A movie you can watch over and over. A movie? Yeah. I guess Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> the Demolition Man. Oh, that's a good one. I like Get that one. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> dogs. Oh, I love hot dogs. Come on, dude. Come Don't on. man. <laughs> hey, well, Beast Man's not happy, bro. That's it's fine. Star. <laughs> Beast Man likes Star Wars, and and you know he gets sad when other people don't. So what can I say? Hey, what's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, when people use a ride symbol like a crash. <laughs> <laughs> I we'll stick... all right man what time does your alarm clock go off what yeah oh, i said i set mine today for uh oh no for two o'clock but i woke up at like noon anyway but also i went to i went to bed at like six so i don't want to hear about it all right hey, uh, a song you could a song you love to sing when you're all alone shit <laughs> 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 He's never all alone. <laughs> a song I love to sing. Eating back to life. I, I don't know, dude. What? what what's, I can't think of what. No one sings any songs alone. Is that a real thing? Yeah. I'm just. I'm just kidding, dude. Honestly, lately I have I have Cassiopeia stuck in my head all day long. It's all ridiculous. Right. That's all I can hear all day in my head. Sing it. <laughs> no, it's not like that, bro. It's more like if you get a star in Mario Brothers and you're all like invincible <laughs> for, for like 30 seconds. Okay. You gotta check out Cassiopeia. It's they're, they're like Japanese fusion-y stuff from 86. And the bass is just sick. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. What, what, last time I was there, you were obsessed with No, no, we didn't know we didn't know about this band yet, I don't think. I know, but I was going to say, when last time I was there, you guys were all obsessed with some, like, uh, spy slash rock star. Like, uh, uh, he was, it was like a Latin, like a Latin superstar. He was singing on the stage, and then, like, he went off and went on a car chase and was like. Oh, that you know was the talking? Bollywood, Bollywood oh, stuff. Oh, Bollywood. Okay, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, it, was, <laughs> it was sick. Yeah, dude, this kid, he did that thing where he, like, slid the, 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 the motorcycle under the car yeah. and then it was, 
I could, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm not good at stories, so you remember. You know what I'm saying? I remember it, yeah. I, I, yeah. Actually, I actually, like, was singing that song to myself for weeks after I came home from, from San Francisco. Who are you? Yes. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Yes. <laughs> You're right. Copyright, copyright infringement, dude. That's a good song. I, I wish I, I wish I actually knew the name of the movie, and I feel like an idiot for not knowing it. But whatever. <laughs> Jason, favorite vacation? My favorite. Va- actually, I had a really good time when I went to L.A. Oh, okay. Uh, a couple of years ago, that was fun. All right, L.A. Other than that, I mean, I. I've been to Vegas like a bunch of times, and every time I go there, I'm like, "Why did I go here for this many days? This is the worst idea I've ever had." Ever. Fucking whale, dude. What were, right. to, what were you going to? What were you going to Vegas for? Psycho Las Vegas? No, no, no. I just just went there to drink and be on vacation, and I would just wind up getting sick. But the one time I did go there, uh, Mashuga was playing with Animals as Leaders, and that was a cool show. Th- those, I I was never like. A huge fan of animals as leaders but then when i saw him live i was like oh this is pretty much the sickest thing ever hmm. okay hey I've what's never... what's one thing about you that probably annoys others my oh. my leg <laughs> both my legs dude they look like supermodel legs they're little and they flap in the wind <laughs> dude those hey mark didn't you name his his foot he named he named my feet i named yeah. his feet Wait, hold on. What was the question? What's one thing about me that annoys me that I hate about myself? No, that annoys no. other people. That annoys <laughs> other people. Oh, yeah, that's all of me all the time, every day. Yeah. All right. Pick favorite. a person. <laughs> favorite, yeah, favorite smell. Favorite smell? <laughs> uh... Come on, bro. <laughs> this is a weird question. No, it's not. It is if you're a disgusting person. Pete Sandoval. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite smell? Dabs. Yeah, dabs are pretty great. Live yeah. rosin's pretty great. You smell pretty great. Thank Beast you. Man. Beast Man is my favorite smell. Right, af- right after we've tracked a song and I go in the room, and like the room's been closed for like like three hours, and I go in there and it just smells like four hours of him. <laughs> somehow, somehow I knew that was going to be your answer. <laughs> well, it's it's an easy way out. Hey, uh, an an instrument you wish you could play? Uh, saxophone. Wow, that's. I think that would make me a way funnier person. <laughs> oh, you're funny now, bro. No, I need a saxophone to take me to level two. What did you have for breakfast today? Nothing. Coffee. I don't think I've eaten breakfast in probably 10 years on purpose. Oh, you're crazy. Dude. Or, or, or ever. All right, dude. I'm going to ask you one last question. Seven string or eight string? Seven. Look, I'm bringing back to six, dude. Seven string it, or eight, eight strings are nightmares, but whatever. They sound cool when they're used for whatever, whatever it is. Do we really need eight strings? No. Six is good, right? Fuck yeah. Six is, six. Six is good. Six is sick, dude. Yeah, exactly. Dead. What? Why didn't you ask him the dancing question? What's the dancing question, dude? I'll do it. Oh, okay. Dude, remember that time my sister wanted me to go to dancing classes? You don't remember that, but, <laughs> but it was a horrible idea. On a scale of one to five, how good of a dancer are you? Two. Two? Yeah, dude. I, I like to roll, roll around on the floor like a fish. <laughs> Lock, Slap, lost, flapping baby. my legs around like a nightmare. I see that as I see that as a five, <laughs> like, like a nightmare. <laughs> I see that as I see that as a five, Jason, not a two. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Your standards are all fucking weird. Hell no, bro. Hell no. Yeah. So, since what are you guys gonna do today? Now that you two hooked up. He's I'm going to leave. He's going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to leave. And then, I don't know. 
I'm gonna uh, finish rewiring my control room. I moved everything, moved my patch bays, and no one, you know, stuff that's annoying. But it's gonna be great when it's hooked up, dude. You'll be able to hear stuff. Yeah. Hopefully, we could. Hopefully, depends. You know, I'm gonna ask the viewers a question here, and they're gonna put something in the comments. Should Jason produce the next record? No, we'll just see what they say in the comments. I like it because I get to stare into the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Can't, yeah, totally. I can't see comments. Yeah. Well, the, uh, could you see it, Jason? I, can, I can't see anything. No, That's fine. Jam. It's, it's fine. I, looking is bad, dude. It is. Oh, okay. Jason, we come to the hour mark. Really? That was fast. <laughs> well, when you're having fun, you have a good time. You know, dude, I love you. I love Beastman the most out of everyone, no matter what. Mm. I don't know. I love Rob and Beastman, and then I think it goes Damien Storms, and then him, Our and then <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I love, I love all you guys. I'm just kidding, bro. As long as I made it on the list, that's all that matters. You're on my love list all day because I Thank love you. you. Thank you, yeah. dude. Dude, I, I really appreciate you jumping on the stream. I know you've been busy. I, I appreciate you having me. I, I'm sorry. I'm a fucking shot, dude. I'll try better one day. No, no. This is fine. This is who you are. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And I want to thank, God. first, I want to thank Jason. I want to thank Will for co-hosting with me. And thank you, Mark, for the surprise visit. I can, uh, yeah. I can feel him breathing on my neck. It's sick. sick. Is it sexy? It's a little weird. I like it. Oh, you, you always like it, dude. You're very, I like it, dude. Let's do it. You're a very sexual person. It's all mucus. It's all mucus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with the crazy and wacky Jason Sukoff on live and streaming with our special guests, Will Carroll and Mark Osageda. And tune in tomorrow. I have a special guest for live and streaming, which is going to be airing on Thursday, not Saturday. So stay tuned for tomorrow's announcement. I will let you know. Everyone have a good weekend. Gents. <laughs>